What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Thank you for coming over and watching another video with me. If you're into fragrances, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about commodity fragrances, you guys. If you're in the fragrance community or you're into fragrances, I'm sure you've heard of Commodity. They've been around for a very long time, since 2013. So they're, they're well known. They brought us fragrances like Vetiver, Moss, Paper, Book, Mimosa, Leather, Ivy. See where I'm going with that? They brought us fragrance notes. And that was so appealing to me because I thought it was very unique to label a fragrance like book or leather you know and basically they're individual notes that we find in fragrances a ton of notes okay there can be anything from um orange blossom to rose to vetiver to cedar in the base and commodity actually named their fragrances one particular note and their packaging is very cute to me it's very minimalistic very simple and on top of that their fragrances smelled amazing every time i would go into sephora at that time your girl couldn't afford the fragrances they were a little bit pricey i want to say they were over a hundred dollars for sure but at that time i could not afford their fragrances but I love them and I would always get samples and take them home and wear it and every time I went to Sephora no matter what it was for I was always getting a sample of a commodity fragrance because that's how much I love them they didn't completely go away they've always been around but they kind of got quiet on us a little bit but they've made a comeback and I'm so happy to talk about their fragrances with you guys because I love their fragrances, okay? And you guys know when I love something, I talk about it a lot. Because they have a new concept when it comes to how we experience fragrances. And I think it's amazing. I think it's genius. It just makes all of us feel like individuals you know what i'm saying because we all don't like the same things and that's what makes this world unique what i like you don't like we may like the smell but for you it could be too strong for me it could be a little bit too uh soft or maybe too more like a skin scent and commodity has the answer for all of those issues so let's get into it you guys may have seen me talk about this in a previous video and I said that I would come back and we would go into detail with it more in depth okay you guys are probably wondering what the difference is in the colors and I will explain to you so commodity has come up with something called scent space okay they are allowing you to create your own scent space so for instance the white is considered a personal scent space, okay? The personal scent space is for those people who love the fragrance, like you love how it smells, but you don't want anything too loud. Like you're the type of person, like you're in the fragrances, but you're not all about those loud, bombastic, heavy uh, fragrances. Like you just want something that smells good to you, that you smell in your own scent space okay and i totally get that because sometimes i like fragrances like that too i don't always want to i don't always need everybody to smell me you know there are particular fragrances that i do have in my collection that i love to wear just for me you know just to be personal for me okay now the middle the middle is for those of you who are you like you don't want your fragrance to be too light and you don't want it to be too bold you kind of want it to sit right in the middle like these fragrances are that space is called the expressive space okay and then lastly here we have 
the bowls. This is for people, I fall in that category as well, who love their fragrances to be loud. Like you want people to smell you, okay? And they're gonna smell you with the bowl fragrances. Trust me, they're gonna smell you. This is not exclusive to me. You guys can go down in my uh, description box and you can click on the link and you can purchase your own discovery set. I would encourage you guys to do that before you um, commit to a full size bottle. Now on the back, this is the front, on the back, it gives a breakdown of everything that I just explained to you. When it comes to fragrances, I like my fragrances to be bold and I like them to be loud and I like them to, I like to be very expressive with my fragrance. That's just how your girl is, but what can I say? Maybe that's just the Sagittarius part of me, I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and smell some of these fragrances and I will start with moss. I'm gonna go ahead and take moss from the bold collection because I am a bold type of person and we're gonna get into the notes and the breakdown and everything. Moss is gonna be very earthy, okay? This is a fresh, green, earthy plant. Um, it lacks true roots. The trilogy of fresh, green scents highlights bergamot, oak moss, and pettigrain. So, if you're not into earthy smells, which I totally am, I love smell the smells of the earth, and I'm weird like that. I told you guys I like the smell of grass, fresh cut grass, okay? Something about fresh cut grass, especially after it rains. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, I love fresh cut grass. I love fresh dirt. Um, I like the smell of woods, but a particular kind of wood I'm not real big on. I haven't really figured out what wood I don't like, but for the most part, I like a woody smell. I don't really like it when it's burning or in the moss bold you do get some added notes like juniper berry amber and patchouli which i think the juniper berry gives this fragrance like a little bit of a fruity note but not a sweet fruity note okay it could kind of come off as a little bit of a a sour fruity note but you can definitely smell something fruity in the Moss Bold. For me, Amber kind of gives the fragrance a little bit of a warm touch to it. And I do smell a little bit of added warmness to this fragrance. It's not necessarily cold and earthy and woody. It's actually warm, earthy, woody, a little fruity. So it's really, really nice and I just, I really like this one. I think at first I was turned off because I've already played with these fragrances, but now that I'm smelling the Moss Bold, I really do enjoy this one. And I think it's worth adding to my collection, but only it to my collection. Now, me and you vibe on the same fragrances, you might enjoy this. If you like fragrances like Vetiver, you will love this fragrance. And I think it is very, very unisex in my opinion. It may lean a little bit more masculine because you do get that bergamot, which kind of smells a little citrusy. And I feel like bergamot is added to a lot of fragrances that are targeted for men. That's just my personal experience that I found with bergamot. Let's get into paper. Now, I would tell you, I do like the smell of paper. <laughs> I even like the smell of money, okay? But like fresh money. You know when you go to the bank and you get those fresh, crispy dollar bills, like you, they probably just printed them. It has a little bit of an aroma to it that I actually enjoy. I love flipping through books and smelling books. I hope y'all don't think I'm weird, but I just love smells like that. I'm sticking with the bold line. I can come back on in a later video and go through the personal and the expressive if you guys, if that's something that you guys are interested in, just comment down below and let me know. But let's spray a little paper here. With paper, and it is just like paper, okay? It's described as sheets manufactured from the pulp of wood, a trilogy of true molecular skin scent 
thanks to Sandalwood and ISO E Super. If you follow me, I've touched on ISO E Super before in my past videos. To me, ISO E Super is a synthetic note added to fragrance. In my personal opinion, oftentimes it comes off um, kind of woody on my skin. Also amplifies my own natural skin scent. Whatever my skin smells like naturally, I think ISO E Super just kind of expands that. And I love ISO E Super. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually kind of liking this one too. I think this is a type of fragrance that I need to spray on my skin. And before we end the video, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. I know I'm always preaching about spray it on your skin, spray it on skin. In some instances, you really do need to spray it on your skin. And paper would be the one that I would say, spray it on your skin. Let's move on to one of my personal favorites is milk. I never knew I could like milk so much. Like I don't even drink milk. Like I drink almond milk, you know. Um, I'm not a big dairy person, like I just don't. I haven't drank like cow's milk in forever, child. So I was really, really surprised when I smelled milk bold. I was so in love with it. I was so smitten with this fragrance. I had to get the big bottle, y'all. Let's talk about it. Give it a little spray. Let it dry down. It's so It's so delicious. Rich in sweet creams and fresh woods, a trilogy of caressing woody scents filled with skin musk, tonka bean, and mahogany wood. Again, if you pick the bold one, you're gonna get some additional notes like amber and firewood accord. Now, I don't want the firewood accord to run y'all off because when I hear the word firewood, I think of smoky. Now, it does have a little, little, little hint of something smoky, but it doesn't last in the fragrance, y'all. After about 30 to 40 minutes, that goes away, and you are left with this sweet, creamy, amber, marshmallow fragrance. Marshmallow is an added note in this fragrance, and when I tell you, it is simply divine, okay? It is so yummy and delicious, y'all. I can't even express to you. I wish this, I wish your phone or TV or whatever you're watching this, the, this video on, whatever device you're using to watch this video on had scratch and sniff. <sighs> Baby, you would be running to get this one. The marshmallow in this top tier, y'all. Top tier. I can dedicate a whole video to milk bowl, I can, but we ain't gonna do that. We gonna keep moving. And the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Velvet Bold. Now, this was my second favorite from the kit, okay? This one has a little bit of a rose in it and I can appreciate the rose in this fragrance. It's not gonna be, you know, a very uh, florally type of rose. It's gonna be a deep, heavy sensual rose okay this rose is a mature rose okay it's not it went if i had to it if i had to visualize the color of the rose in this fragrance i would definitely say it's red okay definitely it could be pink but i'm i'm getting a red rose velvet is a luxurious fabric woven from silk for a dense, soft rose petal texture. The trilogy reveals a true indulgence of roasted almonds, rose petals, and amber. But with the bold, you get additional notes of patchouli, labdomen, saffron, and smoke, okay? So yes, I would say this one it's smoky, but it is so gorgeous. It is so like sexy. It is so a little bit dark, but in a good way, very mysterious, extremely unisex. 
does lean a little bit more feminine though but wow it's amazing okay if i had to com compare it to something that i had in my collection elox by tiziana terenzi uh perfumista by bond nine and shag off oud okay those are the three fragrances that come to mind that resemble um what this is giving okay not an exact but it's giving kind of like those same vibes. I can see myself wearing this in fall and winter because of that smoke. I don't think the smoke would play well in the uh, warmer months, spring and summer. I think fall and winter is where it's at for me with this fragrance, okay? Gold. I gotta spray it on my skin because spraying it on the paper is giving it a little bit of a different but and that may have been my issue when I first smelled it. I think I sprayed it on the blotter and I didn't spray it on my skin. This word that comes to mind is masculine, okay? So gold is uh, described as a warm, lustrous material to be desired. A trilogy of warm, glowing scents, spotlighting vanilla, sandalwood, and amber added note of nutmeg saffron and patchouli and i knew i was smelling something very earthy the patchouli is really coming through this really really hard like i smell it and along with the saffron it's just along with the nutmeg because nutmeg can come off a little bit spicy to me as well i get something very earthy masculine Hint of vanilla, which is very sweet. The vanilla is really pulling through in this fragrance. So I do get a sweet, creamy vanilla. I feel like the saffron, is, in addition to the vanilla, is making this fragrance a little sweet, but only when it starts to dry down is when I get it. But I'm not mad at gold, though. I'm not mad at gold. I'm not mad at it. I don't think it would necessarily be my first choice, but I probably would pick gold before I pick moss. Moss is the only other fragrance in this collection that I feel like leans more on the masculine side to me. It's giving me almost reminiscent of um, Gentle Fluidity Gold, almost, okay? Minus the nutmeg, minus the nutmeg, and even maybe a little bit of Tom Ford Noir Extreme because that has nutmeg in it as well. It has vanilla. I want to say it has patchouli in the base. So last but not least is Book. Let's get into Book. Spray it here so y'all can see. Oh my God. Mm. Book, man, I've never really been a big reader, <laughs> but I will wear book out. Peter and Sandalwood. In the bold, you get an additional note of musk and smoke. Mm. On a scale of one to 10, I give this a 10. It's reminding me of something. Um, Santal 33 by Le Labo. That's exactly what I'm pulling from this. At first I couldn't think, I was like, what is it? I, Cause I don't own Santal 33, so that's why I didn't like click to me right away, but it's giving Santal 33 a lot. It's really, yeah, both of those are like neck and neck, okay? So really, if you like Santal 33 and you don't want to spend like 190 on it, Get Book Bold by Commodity. Extremely similar. I'm, I'm willing to say like 99.99999. You feel me? The same, okay? You can get Book Bold for $145 and that's for 100 ml. Or you can get 10 mls for $30. No lies, okay? No cap, no lies. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it 100. Book Bold is Santal 33. Santal 33. I am in love with commodity fragrances. Like, they are just the best. They're the best. I love them. 
looking at commodities website right now and they do have this entire exploration kit they do have the individual kits where you can buy just the uh, personal the expressive and the bold you can buy them separately or you can buy the whole kit it's 38 dollars okay and then of course with shipping it goes up a little bit to about 50 dollars but if you use my code right here you can use it and it comes out to like about $42 or something like that, okay? Coin, so the code does work. So, girl, save you some money. Why you gonna, why you gonna, girl? No ma'am, use that code. I mean, you know, even when I got it, I don't wanna pay full price. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know, comment down below what commodity fragrances you already have or you have in your collection. Also, let me know what you want to try, okay? Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to keep the conversation going about commodity. Yeah, comment down below. If you are into fragrances, I would love for you to join my family. Over here, we keep it real. My job is to be honest with you guys about fragrances. I am here for you, okay? I am here for you. So hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload and you don't miss out thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having a beautiful day i will see you in the next video Mwah. bye